All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Urban Garden 2020. Thank you for joining me today. And what we are going to be doing today is we have a fern here, and these kind of overwintered in my garage. Some of them uh, look uh, a little worse for the wear. This one right here is kind of very thin, uh, just not full, not very many leaves, a little bit of new growth, but uh, not a lot of growth. So we have another one here that's kind of the same, just uh, not a lot of growth. Yeah, you know, I've got these two. So what we're going to be doing is splitting uh, the ferns up. So basically what I'm going to do is take the fern, cut it in half approximately, and uh, replant them. So all I'm going to do is take, let me see if I can cut down on this light just a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully we don't have the camera dimming and brightening and dimming and brightening. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is take this fern, cut it in half, replant it, take the other half, and what we could do is put it in another planter, like this one right here, or we can take, what I'm going to do is plant it right against the edge of the house under the overhang. So if you know much about ferns, they thrive in, you know, low or indirect bright light. So under an overhang of a porch, um, just somewhere that doesn't get a lot of direct light, they do pretty well inside in planters. They do well hanging on the porch. Uh, they actually can uh, grow in the ground if they're not in direct sunlight and they don't get too cold. So all the tools you're going to need is some kind of knife to cut it into it, cut it in half. I just have this old kitchen kind of knife. Uh, I had a large serrated knife, but I can't find it, so I'm going to use this. All right, so the first thing we want to do is remove the fern from the planter, which is in this little hanging pot, so this should be fairly easy, maybe? Okay, well, so, all right. So we're just gonna flip that one around, flip that one around, flip that one around. Just be sure not to break the little ears off. Um, one of these I've already broken off, so your planter is just kind of, ooh. But luckily that's on the inside, so we probably broke it off last year. So ferns will grow and grow, and uh, they will create an elaborate root system. So uh, if you have your ferns hanging and then over at the end of the year, they just start to die back a little and aren't quite as full or as healthy as they were, then they're, they're probably becoming root bound in the planter. And you can feel, some of them feel very light and that's because the roots have taken up all the area and they basically just uh, used up all the soil. Now you can see the roots and the pods uh, from the ferns and uh, these little bad dudes will grow new ferns, just put out all these and you know, it's going to be a new fern. But what we're going to do, you can see it's pretty well uh, starting to become root bound. Uh, the roots have grown and they're coming just straight up the top and they're trying to just keep expanding and um, uh, growing. But the planter has them confined and restricted. So I'm going to take this and the ferns are pretty resilient. I've done this before, great success. So I just find a happy medium good spot to divide. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut the fern into two pieces. Now it's going to you know, suffer a little bit of shock from this but nothing too major. Um, okay so basically right here we have half of the fern. So I'm going to take it and let's see I'm going to take the original planter it was in and I'm going to center it up in that planter. And then I'm going to put dirt in over around the, uh, trying to pan around here. If I can get around, yes. I'm going to take, take it and we're going to come right around here and I'm just going to get my scoop, handy dandy little uh, scoop here. And we're just going to put dirt around it and 
keep it centered in the pot. We'll just fill in on both sides and the edges as we can. Simple. I just took it, divided it up, and now she looks like she's going to struggle, but really, when the warm weather gets here, she's going to take off, and she's just going to expand and grow into this new soil that's on the sides, and it's just our regular potting mix, so um, I will take this one. Now, if I were going to uh, repot this one, you could put it in a planter and you know, you have two ferns basically, and they'll grow and fill in. If you just want to upsize into a larger planter, uh, you could do that, but I don't have any larger hanging planters, so I'm just gonna divide these up, put this one in the ground up under the same area that this one's going. So I will uh, probably go on and hang these up underneath the overhang, they're not gonna get any frost. Uh, under the porch, it stays you know overnight right now it's getting down gonna be close to freezing but not quite freezing I think 36 or so uh, it's the lowest it's gonna be in my 10-day forecast we're on a warming trend hopefully for the year and we're about to jump right into spring so again take this I'm gonna put it in the ground I'm gonna water both of these very well and I'm gonna do this with several of my ferns uh, there are some that are really full and lush looking still and I'll just pop them out of the planters and see what the roots look like. If it looks like it's not very root bound, I may not split it. But again, if you have a fern that's really struggling and it feels light in the pot, it's probably because the roots have taken and just filled up the whole area and they don't have any more dirt to go in. So they're not getting nutrients. Um, the water just flows out because the soil is not holding the moisture in and they're struggling, which is, you can see, probably happened with this one right here. That's why it's starting to not look very full. So I'll take this bad dude, put her out, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. That's us splitting a fern. So if you've got ferns at the end of the year, you can put them in your garage basement. Overwinter them for next year. They'll do fine. Just keep them in a little, uh, little light. You can also put them uh, by your windows in the house if you have some planters that you could bring inside you know, indoors inside your house. So uh, ferns are great. They're really pretty. And come summertime, they're going to take off. All right, guys. Well, keep on digging it and have a great one. Be safe.